Hi, this is Brainy from Brainy's Tori, and I would like to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers. You rock! Keep doing it. Okay? So this is going to be Pisces, Taurus, Aries. Okay? Um, this separation, this breakup type of situation. Heartbreak. I know people want answers. Validation. Look at that. So this is Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. I'm not giving this a timetable when you see it. You probably need to hear it. Pisces, Aries, and Taurus. What are they going through? This heartbreak breakup. Please. Don't forget to hit that like button, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe too, check out my other videos, Facebook page, whatever. First we have the star, Aquarius is showing up here. Someone could be dealing with an Aquarius. I have patience, which is temperance. Sagittarius. And I have justice at the bottom. Libra. Hmm. Some major arcanas out here. Eight of Wands. Under the star, ace of earth, under patience, page of earth, under justice, the two of swords, under light deck. Huh. There's choices to be made. So this first row, someone might be dealing with an Aquarius, one of you, Pisces, Aries, Aries Taurus, or you might have a moon in it. My moon is... In Aquarius there is going to be some action taken okay action words love but nothing attainable at this moment it just could be um, words spoken to heal the situation it could be words of encouragement from your friend or your family for you to heal from this heartbreak okay this is what I'm getting here but someone is definitely either traveling, speaking the words, coming to see you. You could be doing this too, vice versa. We have the Ace of Pentacles with Patience, which is, again, Temperance, okay? The Angel Forever Waiting. Someone has to have patience with ever this heartbreak, this breakup, this separation. But there is an offer of healing coming. This is a solid offer now. This is a new beginning. This is stable foundation for whoever I'm speaking to here for Pisces, Aries, Taurus. There's a lot of earth here, Taurus. Okay, your counterpart is Libra. But someone may want to buy a home with you or give you a ring. They do miss you. They're patiently waiting. Someone's patiently waiting for this return, waiting for this offer. You know it's coming. Justice paired with the page of pinnacles, page of earth. That is a young curiosity. That is wanting to take action on rectifying the situation. Okay? The law of karma and effect. Someone is choosing... To communicate someone is choosing to take their time to heal to offer something better and someone is choosing to start again because the two of swords is underlying deck that's the underlying message there is choices here to be made okay there's choices either for you to move on to heal there's choices to be made to speak why did this happen what happened we'll dig deeper there is timing here Time to heal, timing to wait, the timing was off, but a real offer is coming, a real offer of growth, a real offer of renewal. Someone is wanting to rectify the situation and bring the scales back into balance for each other. I'm going to leave this two of air out because that is the underlying theme here, choices. 
choices in this love. Can you please clarify the Eight of Wands and the Star about this decision? <laughs> I just heard the phone, but the phone's not ringing, so that's a message for someone. Most definitely. King of Cups with the Page of Wands in the reverse. This is what was clarifying the eight wands in the star. Someone is giving, giving their emotions. Someone is not receiving. Someone is not taking action upon hearing this message when someone uh, shares their feelings. Okay, because the King of Cups is feeling. He's also reaching out to this smaller creature, um, like giving, receiving, reciprocity. It's a page of wands in reverse. Someone's not really feeling the spark here. Someone's not ready to be openly receptive. Alright? Because they're still trying to heal. That's what this card's all about. The nine of wands in reverse. They're getting there. They're coming out of this battle intense feeling. Okay? Once these words are spoken, there will be real healing here. You may be able to start a new. Okay, give me the Ace of Pentacles and Temperance, please. The Ace of Pentacles and Temperance about this heartbreak, this separation. Two of Wands. Again, choices underlying here. All I'm really focused on is the the girl just kind of going around on the back of the camel, trying to light the way, trying to find the answers taking their time. Again, there's a lot of taking your time here. Finding answers. Digging deep. Because she's like in a white negligee. Just riding on the back of this son of camel. Damn it. <laughs> this giraffe. I'm so sorry. I said that for some reason, huh? Like there's two humps you have to overcome. Two humps to overcome for someone. Give me one more, please, on this. For Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Alright, this one flipped. Five of Pentacles. Because someone feels lost, someone feels abandoned, someone feels left out in the cold. Someone definitely could have hid away some money and uh, someone found out about that. And this is why... This is why there's a separation. And they're wanting to bring the money back. They're wanting to heal this and, and give you back what they took. They're trying to find a way to do that. This is also filling out a lack. Like they can't come to you. It's going to take some time to come to you. When they have something to offer you. Give me justice. In the page of earth, please. Give me justice in the page of earth, please. For Taurus, Aries, and Pisces. Okay, this one I want to stay in my hand. That is the queen of water. She is sitting with her emotions. She is not speaking them. She is trying to see about her next move because she is very intuitive. Okay, this could be you, Pisces, at the end here. Number 11, maybe you know this is your soulmate. Um, someone wanted to play. Someone wanted to remain youthful and threw the scales of justice off. Give me one more for this, please. Give me one more for this, please. I felt these two. Okay, so someone is spying. Because we have the Page of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. One of the two are spying. Someone is trying to dig up information. Someone is trying again because the Six of Earth, Six of Pentacles is all about balance. Because someone feels they're lying and giving their energy and time to someone else. They, they feel they need... <laughs> Higher Fit just flipped out on me on that. Number five of change. They feel they need more information. They're listening to their intuition. But it's really throwing them off. 
just throwing them off balance. You see how one antler is way bigger than the other. Someone is giving more to a situation. Someone wanted um, marriage. That is Taurus, though, as well. So we have Taurus and the Queen. Taurus, Libra, and water. Biggest players over on this side. Someone is trying to gather more information to be able to bring and give you what you need. But they are wanting to be useful, and they didn't really want to give you a whole offer at that time, but now they're watching, trying to figure out how to do this. Gathering information. Okay. Give me more about the five of earth. And temperance, please. More about the five of earth and temperance, please. What fell? Okay. Ten of Wands. Feeling very burdened. Trying to figure out when they can return. Trying to figure out when they can give you this offer that they truly want to give. Okay, very burdened by this decision. You see how she's sulking? Do you see how they're majestic? That's how they're wanting to come back in. But they are at a lack of how to do so. What is the what is the end result of this? The tower. The tower is the end result for that. That is a shake up in the foundation. That is a realization. Cherry at the bottom of the deck. That is success. Realizing they have to stop burdening themselves. They are running out of time. And all they have to do is take a running leap. That is the realization of the tower. They just need, because one and six make a seven. Okay, and then we have a seven, so that's the life path number of someone here. This tower is not blown to pieces. There's just two choices here. You have two staircases. One will lead you somewhere else. This dark horse looks very sad here, while the white one looks very enlightened. It's like they're wanting to go separate paths here. They're trying to figure out how to coincide with you. And there's an epiphany about that that they just need to try to have success. Hmm. More, please. More. Four of Earth. Holding on to that lack, though, needing to just realize that all they need is a solid foundation. You guys can build the walls together. Okay, because there's a real bond here for someone. There's a real soul bond here for Pisces, Aries, or Taurus. Whoever's watching, there's a real soul contract here, and there is movement. But there's a lot of sorrow. Okay, can you give me more on the star? The Eight of Wands, the King of Water. Okay. The Five of Cups. Just seeing the ones that are spilled. Not seeing that there's still hope there in front of you. Trying to le release the past hurt. Again, for healing. Trying to release the past hurt, but you're refusing to hear what is being said. And this could be the cross watcher as well, guys. Okay? I'm speaking to someone. They're wanting to very much work together with the Three of Pentacles. Wanting to work together and bring upon this union again. They're looking very, very deep within themselves to figure out how you guys can work together again and get over this hurt. But someone is not receptive of this. Yeah. Four of Cups, Four of Water. Someone is wanting to offer their love. While the other one is too focused on the past and, and not seeing that the offer is yet again right in front of them. They're not hearing it. They're not hearing the communication. They're not wanting to be receptive to the healing power. <sighs> I have the Ace of Water and the King of Earth. So, 
this is either they will eventually open their eyes to the big offer that's being in front of them, the new beginning, the new start, the solid foundation, the nurturing foundation. When water and earth come together, that is emotions, that is your wish. And then with the any pinnacles, that is a form of stability. It is attainable. This love is very, very attainable if someone opens up, looks around, you know, let's go of this defeat, let, let's go of the way you broke up. Okay, it could have been a cheating factor, or you could have thought they were cheating. More, please. The outcome. The outcome is the Ace of Water and the King of Pentacles. The outcome is truth. Truth about the deceit and about the lies. Because you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Moon. Pisces again representing with air signs. Someone could be a Pisces, Aries, um, Pisces Aquarius cusp in this reading. Also definitely could be a Taurus Aries cusp as well. I didn't even see the messenger of fire out here. So the messenger of wands wanting to bring more passion back to this, wanting to rekindle the flame, wanting to hear the truth about the deceit of the third party. Okay? It's going to come out. Not right now. They're taking their time. Someone's not wanting to hear it. Someone's not listening is really what I'm, I'm hearing. Someone is not listening. And you have to listen. <laughs> Set the kettle. Okay. Give me three cards. One for each. Sign, please. Something they need to know. The star. The ace of water. The king of pentacles. And... The Two of Swords. Very soon. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. That is all over this reading. Because. The Two of Swords. Do you want peace? Do you want to heal? Do you want to communicate? Do you want to re-accept this offer? Do you want to work on things? Because if you do. There's a good outcome here. If you forgive this, someone forgives this, or you can just stand in your own independence. Please give me a card for the tower and the chariot about this situation, please. One flew. You deserve love. You are lovable. I need one more for this. Okay. <laughs> There's a new love coming in. It's safe for you to have that love. Okay, so it looks like someone's not going to get their shit together on this side. Even though there's real love there, they're too mentally stuck in how to present all this money to you when you just wanted their love. So this could be the tower of you realizing you've wasted too much time with temperance. And you got to move forward. One more, please. Yeah, you just need to forgive and learn. Forgive and learn for the next. As you release and heal to the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And you did have temperance here, patience. You know, healing and forgiving take time. But you're going to have an epiphany and you're going to be successful in this. Okay, because it's safe for you to relove. Just take those lessons and learn from it. Okay, can I please get... Um, one card for the Hierophant Justice, please. Finances and career play a part in your love life. Yeah, they're wanting to rebalance that out for some reason with pinnacles. One more, please. Stay optimistic about your love life, chemistry, and true love came out. This is a romance of a lifetime. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. There's just financial issues that are getting in the way, but you very much need to stay optimistic. 
Stay optimistic. There's a lot of passion in this connection. Don't sit around. <laughs> and there's a wedding with the Hierophant on this side. That's who I was pulling for. All right. So you guys may have to get to really know each other. You will have to wait because there's been some deception. But you need to love yourself first. Free yourself up. Okay. Stay optimistic. Don't let your finances and your career get in the way. There is a lot of true love here. Okay. I hope this helped you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what's going on. Um, I wish you good luck.